Are you looking for the most cost-effective way to use images in your books? Have you considered using Google Images for commercial use or in books? Before you do, I think you should hear me out first. I'm going to tell you what types of images are doable and what you should avoid when you publish your next book. That's up next. Welcome to Self-Publishing with Dale, and if you want practical strategies and solutions for do-it-yourself publishing mastery, then subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to get notifications on all my latest videos. Do you use images in your books or on your covers? If so, where do you get your pictures? Please leave your open thoughts and useful websites in the comments below, and I'll do my best to approve any relevant links. For those of you who stick around to the end, I'll provide you with my full go-to list of image-based websites. I make it no secret that my channel is all about DIY publishing mastery, so this means I shoot for the best results with the least cost. Not to say I'm a tightwad, more so frugal. If you're like me, then you want to provide the reader with more than simply wall after wall of text, most especially in nonfiction books. Pictures can break up the monotony and offer images that enhance the reader experience. They can also serve to validate great points or even guide the reader in your thought process. But what if you don't have an adequate camera or a graphic design background? Many people believe they are left with no other option than firing off a book with no images. Not that there's anything wrong with a book with no images, but sometimes the pictures really do help. Many newbie self-publishers and would-be authors make the mistake of blindly grabbing images off the internet, and this can lead to serious issues. I highly discourage using Google Images for commercial use or for sale in books. Here's why. Most images are property of the originator and carry a copyright, meaning that you can't just simply grab a person's property and use it without their express permission, especially when it comes to using image for monetary gain. Can you get away with grabbing any old picture off the internet and using it in your book or on your cover? Well, sure, but is it a good idea? Absolutely not. I've known several self-publishers who've landed themselves in hot water with Amazon and the original copyright owner of an image. A few received a cease and desist, whereas some had to pay back all earnings and estimated reparations. So what should you be looking for when getting an image to use for a book anyway? First, I want to assure you that I have a tenuous grasp at best at copyright laws. The cheapest and most accessible type of images are ones with a Creative Commons license. This license is used when the image owner wants to give others the right to share, use, and build upon a work that they have created. Before you snatch it up, you should still look for the fine print. Yes, it's going to be filled with legalese and may seem confusing. Just make sure you can use it in the distribution and sale of print media. Some Creative Commons images require at the very minimum image attribution, essentially giving credit where it's due. A problem with picking up Creative Commons is the overlap in use. Keep in mind other cost-cutting publishers are in your niche, possibly using the exact same image you are. Try to stand out from the crowd by investing a little money on your image licensing and covering your tail in the process. Yep, yeah, this means you'll probably have to pay anywhere from one to 10 bucks or more for an image. Fair warning, most image licensing sites offer standard or premium licensing. The latter choice is almost always the best option and the most expensive option. Often, these types are universally referred to as rights managed or royalty free. The first being a restricted license and the second being unrestricted licensing. Neither of these options implies full ownership of the image, merely a right to use said image. You'll want to afford the option that allows you to use the image for books and protects your business for the long haul. Currently, one of my preferred image licensing sites is Deposit Photos. If you want more info about affordable pricing plans, go to selfpublishingwithdale.com slash deposit photos. Hey, if you're still a bit strapped for cash and looking for free stock image sites, then sign up for my email newsletter at selfpublishingwithdale.com slash sign up. Within the first week, I'll send you my go-to list of free stock photo sites and a few bonus tips. That's all the time we have for today. And remember, if you dug what I talked about, then share it with someone you know who will enjoy it too. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I'll catch you guys soon.